recording for real. <laughs> All right, what was that about squirrels? I was looking at squirrel photos. Yeah. That's the whole story, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's All it. Right. I will explain no <laughs> further. Folks, welcome to the Legends of Leia, an actual play, super ancient, near death Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> live stream, brought to you by Infinity Break, where we're telling stories our own way. If that unexpected error notification comes up again, I will riot. Well, that's what I was, I was clicking on it. Seeing it Andrew, will you turn on your camera so that I can see what's going on? Oh, I guess. You want to see us? Why? Uh, where we're telling stories our because own way. Because if Th I don't see Nikki. Maddie, I'll be really sad. Oh, okay, fair enough. I love that we are streaming this. <laughs> May I proceed? Can you see now? No, uh, it's black. Green. <laughs> Dying. Sorry, Ben, we're girl. trying to do some troubleshooting. You'll continue in a moment. <clears throat> Why is it doing that? Maybe go back to Streamlabs? God damn it. We have a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash infinity break where for as little as one dollar a month you can enable this. <laughs> Fuck it. You're gonna see our whole screen. There. That's oh, cool, God. as long as I can see you. Yay! Oh, there yeah. you go. Now I see you guys. We're Yay. we're streaming. We did it. <laughs> Yay! Okay, oh, my we're life? good to go, Ben. Great. Shoot. Welcome to Legends of Laia, an actual play near death Dungeons and Dragons live stream brought to you by Infinity Break, where we're telling stories our own way. This show is broadcast live right here on twitch.tv forward slash Infinity Break Gaming and on our homepage at infinitybreak.net. We encourage y'all to participate in this adventure by taking the time to talk with each other about the show in the Twitch chat. We'll be paying attention to the story from time to time, but I will be keeping an eye on the chat. Before we get started, could you please take the time to share our link around to help spread the word about this uh, monstrous adventure so that more people can join along. Thank you. We appreciate your support, especially now when we started at a weird time because of technical difficulties. Uh, hey, folks, it's been a little bit since we played, obviously, since this show is broadcast every two weeks. So can everyone just give a quick little introduction um, as to who you are, what you're playing, and maybe what your character did last time, briefly as possible. Starting with... I am Maddie. I play Paladin Captain Petros, and I adopted a dragon. <laughs> My name is Ben Hamlin. I play uh, Hugo Augusta Charlemagne Robert Danton de Fontaine. I almost forgot all of my names. And recently, I acquired a necklace that makes me not die as quickly. Uh, I am Andrew Akel, and I am playing Shavlet Sarin, a drow bard who, uh, last we left, was getting into mischief with another drow. Oh, yeah. And Johnny Ronaldo. And Johnny Ronaldo. I am playing Mural Valtris, a warlock elf uh, that fucks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I described myself very accurately. Uh, yeah, well, uh, anywho, uh, if you need more information about any of our characters, uh, we have good news for you. We have installed the D&D Beyond plugin that will allow you to just kind of hover over this screen and a little pop-up for D&D Beyond will appear, allowing you to uh, view our character sheets uh, so you know what our deal is in times of turmoil and trouble. Uh, which that, is all of the time. Which is all of the time because this game is designed to kill us. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen and other identifiers, please welcome to the stage noted monster enthusiast, Nikki Boylan. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Legends of Laia, my campaign. Uh, last time we left off, the gang had just emerged from the sanctuary, an ancient um, underground dungeon place thing uh, <laughs> that held within it... Um, not only many monsters, but also a blue dragon worm that you, with mummy rot, that you proceeded to adopt. Because of course you did. I that's don't know what I expected. Do. Sorry, I really don't know what I son? expected. I really should have. <laughs> Please never speak to my son and I again. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's Johnny with blinks in one arm. And Maddie with like both arms around the dragon. <laughs> These are our babies now. That's, how, uh, that's what this game is about, isn't it? 
The that gang adopts dating? another baby. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, quick, uh, a quick interruption. Uh, asking our fans real quick, uh, what Andrew here just typed in the chat. Can you all see the overlay? We just need to make sure it's working. If someone could just double check and let us know, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, when you hover over the video, it should show up on the left-hand side. Nick, Nikki, you may proceed. Okay. And um, you, in the final chamber, fought a bunch of mummies and a white that was trying to accomplish some kind of ritual involving an alt um, that with that on top of it was the second of what you believe to be three ancient artifacts that possibly hold the power to knit the continent back together. Or destroy it. Nobody knows what these things um, you tried to take, each of them had a, um, there were five little niches, um, with little slabs that went into them, and when you tried to take them out, um, it ma almost made the altar collapse. On those, you um, readings, or, um, scra like, scrapings of those and on them were five different symbols, um, each of them representing a different name or title, those being the original, the abyss, the hand, Tiamat, and Asmodeus. Obviously not very welcoming names for y'all. You got the artifact and escaped from the sanctuary, where the oracle was able to heal the mummy rot on the dragon and on Petra, who did not escape from that mummy battle unscathed, unfortunately. Yeah, but Petra's he's okay now. Um, you learn that the next one is uh, in the orc territory of Bond, closer to the ocean, which is all the way through the territory, so you have to go all the way through uh, that country. And you are not welcome there. No one is who isn't an orc. Um, there are currently border conflicts going on between the Zafari tribe of the Tief and the Bloodtooth clan of roaming orc. So you said that your plan was going to be to use scrying to attempt to find the location of the Bloodtooth clan so that you can avoid and that's where we start uh, this session. Uh, hello, my fellow players. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Our backup plan was to pull a Chewbacca and do the, uh, this yes. is my prisoner. I believe yes. that was our A plan. <laughs> uh, no. And then our B better plan was scrying. I think it was both. Oh. We're doing both plans at the same time. Both really. plans at the same time. No, 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 so the whole point is we scry. This is my prisoner, and this is my prisoner. <laughs> That's how I met your prisoner. Um, no, the whole point is we scry so that we know where they are uh -huh. and then we, avoid that as right. we go by. And then if we do run into them, then, then we, we pull the Chewbacca. Pull, yes, we pull, exactly. We do get help. It's called pulling a Chewbacca. Yes, it's called... Okay. Mm -hmm. um, are we lost? Unrelated question. No. Uh, so Anyway, I just wanted to double check that. Yeah. Everything all right over there in Techland? No. All right. Uh, the overlay is not working at the moment. All right. And well, I'm not going to troubleshoot it on the stream, so... Yeah. Hey, everyone. Get fucked. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out before the next time. Sorry, next guys. Time. Or, or yeah. during the break. I'm sure we'll figure it out during the break. Yeah. Or during the break, yeah. Uh, it just sounds... It looks like you have to be added to the campaign, in which case the link for that is... Right, right. In... So, so the issue isn't that. The issue is that right. it's not acknowledging uh, that we're logged in. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. Uh, I'm sure it'll be here by, by the second half of today's session. Um, okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure we knew what our plans were. Yes. Um, because I yeah. thought I remembered the Maddie, Chewbacca Maddie, what was thing your question? Chest. I'm assuming we've had a long rest before we do anything else, or are we still in the scene of, like, that night? Um, I was getting into that because okay, Andrew asked I can wait. for a little bit of a, um, an interlude. Because Shalva and Shavala went off to go raid the liquor store. <laughs> I mean, raid is a strong term, but it's also accurate. Liquor store also feels incorrect. <laughs> liquor, yeah, liquor 
cabinet storage. more cabinet. cash. Cash. These people don't work in money, so storage room. Who knows? God, I wish that was me. God, I wish that was me. <laughs> um, Shalva and Shavala leave the tent and go to the tent with the beers. Uh. The, the, the whole reason being that the rest of the group was kind of freaking out. We had Miral who was pacing back and forth, talking to themselves in, El or in Orkish, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, oh, you were being French, and then... <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm not dying anymore. <laughs> well, Petros, you were freaking out about going to the Orc place, weren't you? Oh, well, like I mean... That? I just... it Family reunions. <laughs> Uh, if I remember correctly, Hugo Hugo helped brainstorm various plans, but he wasn't like. I don't think he did anything after that. <laughs> no, not really. Right. He didn't you guys like, didn't well... say what you were doing after. Okay. Besides, the only person who said what they were doing after this, or in, like during and after this, was Sean. My dearest diary. <laughs> today. Dearest. Today I went into a real spooky place. <laughs> it was full of desert and spider. And I'm not a fan of either. Were there spiders? My friends, they are being nice to... There were spiders, yes. What spider? My friends, they are being nice to me, but I still think they might hate me. <laughs> I am so alone. <laughs> really excited to go fuck up some orcs tomorrow. <laughs> Fin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Is Hi. that your next, the next installment of your young adult series? Uh, but first I write the... Oh, I'm talking to God now. <laughs> <laughs> well, first he writes the... Uh, this is the shorthand version. Um, and then he will expand on his notes later with his editor. Um, okay. So, presuming he doesn't get hit in the head and, and contract amnesia, he'll be able to remember. <laughs> Nikki, don't hit me in the head when I can contract amnesia. <laughs> I mean, no promises. Got you chaotic little demon. <laughs> First of all, I would never hurt you or your character. Oh, ever. I didn't think my Could body you, uh, was on the line show at all. Show us your hands while you're <laughs> doing that so we can see that your like fingers aren't crossed yeah. or anything. Okay. Oh god, I've got a gun! <laughs> Make an effort. As they, they shoot their laptop webcam, unable to do any shows from here on out. Um. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, we built a significant amount of this brand around Nikki. Uh, hey, Betty, do you have strong opinions about superhero movies? Of course I do. Cool. So, anyway, uh, yeah, Shalva was going to head off with Shivala and uh, head to that liquid liquid storage. Uh, I mean, it's also <laughs> that, I guess, but... You just you just open a door and you get hit with a waterfall. <laughs> it's okay, just full of water. Um, it seems really, really irresponsible. You and Shivala get into the... You get into the beer, and I need you to make a constitution... <laughs> To get into the beer. <laughs> yes, you just start. You're like, you've had it. We you've had a in, day. It's like, hot. You're thirsty. You're ready to get turned. Waist you deep in drinking. this barrel of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all the constitution soon. No, it's good. It's good. I'm good at those. That's a five? <laughs> mm. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> Shavala rolled a 14. So. <laughs> like, oh, uh, what is this? It's beer? So, oh, God. <laughs> Shavala has been around uh, quite a bit longer than you have and is a little bit better at pacing themselves. <laughs> That's but accurate. you... Shavala had no Shavala. interest in pacing herself. You you went to town. <laughs> I mean, you, you thought you went hard last time. And missed the battle entirely. <laughs> but this is something else. You feel like you want to get out and you want to party. Yeah, I want to cause party, mischief. So. Oh boy. Oh, maybe no. light something on fire. Oh, maybe. Shvalo, yeah. please put your pants back on. There's a whole I'm begging you. You wish I had my pants off. Nope, that's okay. <laughs> this is getting meta. <laughs> you wish I had. Yes, that is what he wishes. <laughs> Hugo wishes that you had your pants on. Well, that's that's canon now. Please don't make Hugo a pervert. He's already a criminal. No, you no. no. That means you want. 
the oh, pants thank God. On. Okay. Whew. Yeah. All right. Good. 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 We're speaking to your original your text. Yeah. <laughs> We're defending you know your honor. I think Andrew said off, and everyone. I heard definitely off. said off. Yeah. Why are you stealing my dice? No, I just wanted it. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, but no. Uh, Shalva definitely wants to get up to some, to some mischief, like I said. Maybe steal a wagon. Maybe some animals. Whatever. So there are multiple options. Okay. Um, <laughs> there is the llama pen. Okay, okay. Yeah, everybody's okay. animals like are uh, in the pen. There's some llamas, there's some camels. Um, there's the food store. Okay, okay. Um, it doesn't look that hard to get into, but there is a there is someone guarding a tiefling. And, um, there, I mean, there's just general mischief you could... <laughs> get oh, yeah, into no. if you wanted to like, get some lava, spray yeah. paint graffiti the side of a tent or something i don't know. yeah i'd love to do that too can i double up okay so here's my thinking i want to go to the llama pen uh take Shav shavala if she's or if they're willing to go along um is there anyone guarding the guarding the the pen there is a young shepherd boy a, a young um, tiefling probably in his mid-teens who's uh, sitting there just kind of lazily feeding one of the llama. Seems very bored. Okay, can I sneak into the pen? Actually, no, okay, um, here's what I want to do. I want to, I'm assuming there's like a big gate that opens that they can go in and out of, right? Yes. Um, yeah. I want to unlock that quietly. Uh, then sneak into the pen on the other side, and then I'll tell you the rest once I get there. Okay, so first I want you to roll oh. a stealth check to see if you can get around the side without okay. being noticed. All right. I'm writing if it down. If you have any magic that can help you, you can do that as well. Oh, do I? I'm writing it down now, but when we upload this episode, could someone text me the phrase Grand Theft Llama? <laughs> <laughs> just, just so I remember. Um, is anyone else around, or is it just the little boy? The, or I guess the it's team. just the little boy. Everyone <laughs> um, is either Prince. they're tending to their own their own business. It's probably just this guy's job. Uh, how dark is it outside? Like, can I look up and see what the moon looks like? Um, it's about a um, quarter moon, so it's <laughs> not very bright. The moon is there. <laughs> <laughs> There's no moon. We tricked you. There's at least one. <laughs> There's a fourth of a moon. Wait, it's okay. It's cheese. Hold on. I'm going to shut the ben fuck up. It. No, shut. There every, is no. no moon. It's just a round of cheese in the sky. This is important to me. Is it a fourth the size of what we think the moon would be? Like, concentric circle wise? Or is it a fourth, like a Pac-Man piece of a moon? Like a fourth of pizza pizza? Or is it fourth the size of the moon? Thank you for your time. That's no moon. <laughs> That's a Death Star. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, no. Okay, so, so I will say that you guys don't know what a moon is. Um, if Shalva, you say that you've never looked up before, and this is the first time that you're looking up. Yeah, this is the first time I'm like, wait, what's above me? You see, um, so I will again say there is no moon. Sweet. So it's dark as hell then, right? That being said, there is a source of light in the sky that I guess if you did know what a moon is, you would probably call it a moon if you didn't know what it is. Hold on. Okay. What? This seems like a conspiracy, but all right. What is it? Okay. We'll come back to this. Does this matter? Is look, this is my part. This is my part. <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah, yeah. your part. Yeah, Andrew, please you continue. You can look up later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Andrew, please continue uh, your story. Uh, when Parascience launches, Maddie and I have shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to, um, I don't know how much this is going to help me, uh, cast darkness on myself. Like, cast darkness okay. on something I'm wearing so that it's just, like, dark and I can sneak around. Uh, yeah, I'd would that say that uh, if you want to roll stealth, roll with advantage. Nice. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to do that and then sneak around. Oof, that's still not great, but that'd be a 15 for my stealth. Okay, so you managed to get around, um... Where's my fucking D20? I have like 20. Where's my D20? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, as you're moving around, the the shepherd boy kind of lifts his head and kind of as if he he might have heard something, and he looks around, but he doesn't seem to spot you, but. Um, is a, a little bit suspicious as if something might be there. But it might be the wind. He doesn't. Okay. And you want to try to unlock Unlock the, the... gate, yes. Yeah, so roll a sleight of hand. Can I roll? Uh, I have thieves tools. Can I use those? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a good old 24. You unlock it without any problems. Okay, then I want to sneak back around. The, the thief this lock seems is not very well made. It's more just to keep the llamas in than to keep anyone else out. That was their mistake. Okay. Those poor llamas. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, gently set the lock down on the ground so because I'm not, I'm not stealing it. Uh, then sneak around to the opposite side of the pen and climb into the pen. Um, okay. And now what are you trying to do? After you get in. So once I get in, uh, I am going to bust out my new spell that I just got because we leveled up. Uh, and I am going, uh, including the little boy, of course, what? the teenager, uh, I am going to cast fear. <laughs> you bastard! A spell slot on this? Yes! We're about to go to bed. You guys probably. are having a long rest anyway. This <sighs> is still night. Uh, so fear is a, a thirty foot cone, so I could get you know. <laughs> Hang on, I have to look up the stat blocks for a llama. <laughs> weren't how, expecting uh, this, were you? Let's see. <laughs> you fool! Uh, how wise are llamas? <laughs> Extremely. Their face betrays an elegance of the mind. <laughs> Picture a llama, Maddie, please. I'm trying to drink something. Oh, boy. It actually has a plus one to Will. <laughs> really? <laughs> I fucking told you. This is some fucking wise llamas. It Ooh. has a spit attack. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh yeah, you fucked up. Dungeons and Dragons is good. Okay, actually. go ahead. Yeah, there are a lot of levels like I have to roll for, so I'm just gonna do a majority. Okay, so what is the save? Save DC we'll save? is sixteen. It's wisdom. I'm just gonna get all these in here. Okay, so there was a twenty, a fifteen, a twelve, and an eight. So that's three of them. I got like three quarters of them. Yeah, and then I'll roll for the boy. He does not save. Nice. Um. Uh, so I project. Lot... So it, I, you project a phantasmal image of a creature's worst fears. <laughs> what is a llama's what worst is a llama fear? Afraid of shearing day. A wolf. <laughs> Ooh, a wolf. <laughs> just a pair of scissors. Just. Well. I mean, historically speaking, right now, it's Andrew's character. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I go with a different option uh, and instead attempt to create an image of uh, my god, uh, the one that lurks? Yes, Oof. you may. What? I do that Are you instead. trying to scare the llamas with this image that yes. they have never seen? <laughs> well, it's still a big monster thing. I mean... Okay, fair. Um, the boy sees this first, um, drops, drops, like, the piece of wheat that he's holding, and just screams and runs in the opposite direction. And as he runs, he, like, bursts through the gate and it opens. Uh, like, because you unlocked it, you didn't open it. Right. He opens it. <laughs> About half of the llamas <laughs> see this image now above them and feel the fear from the oh llama he's supposed to be <laughs> and you kill the other half of them <laughs> the other half just have heart attacks and die oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I mean you, they actually have a um See, their perception is plus one, so I'm going to have some of them try to perceive you. 
Uh, I am still cloaked in darkness. Well, actually, uh, no, I'm not. Never mind. It ends when I cast Sister fear. Excellence. Never mind. That's a natural 20, so some of them <laughs> do. One of them has looked, one of them, the biggest llama in this. Oh, no. <laughs> this thing. Okay. Um. It's big. <coughs> he has, like, a oh, really limited. fluffy white curl, like, to his fur. And he has, like, this giant, like, underbite. So, like, his teeth, he's, as he's, like, chewing, his teeth are just, like, above his top lip, too. His ears are really long and floppy. He has, like, one eye kind of drooping as if he's, like, seen some shit. He's, like, the, <laughs> the oldest, seen some shit. strongest llama. This is the best description of a llama that I've ever heard. Again, their faces betray an elegance of the mind. <laughs> Is this a druid in disguise? And this llama. <laughs> uh, this llama sees. So, so some of the llamas. You do achieve what you meant to. Do. The llamas who are scared run after the boy and are like fleeing. <laughs> but this one llama is just standing there, staring at you. And it moves its. It's. <laughs> It like gathers its like neck and like leans back slightly and then just spits at you. <laughs> Dude, you gotta suplex it. <laughs> we gotta suplex the llama man. Suplex the llama man. To make a fort save. <laughs> <laughs> that that's Constitution, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah that's Constitution. That's Pathfinder, Nikki. Bro. Yeah, I know. And uh, fourth. Constitution saving throw. Uh, how about a seven? This isn't to be played by me. Um. So. <laughs> You're sickened for 1d4 <laughs> So this llama, the biggest, baddest llama around, just just regurgitates off onto you. And it just hits you smack in the face and is like dripping down you. And it's like all over your cloak and everything too. And it just leans forward and like just blows hot breath on your face. <laughs> What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna turn and scramble out of this pen. I have accomplished what I set out to do. Kavala <laughs> is laughing hysterically yes! at you. Yes! That's all that matters. <laughs> this was all for Shavala's benefit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't everything we do. <laughs> um, um, so I'm gonna turn and scramble out of there. Uh, I then want to cast Disguise Self on myself so that if someone comes looking for someone covered in llama spit, I won't be. Does that eliminate the okay, scent? Uh, describe what you nope. change it. Uh, so I'm going to shift into... Uh, let's just go with the tiefling. I don't want to draw attention to myself. Uh, maybe one of the tiefling that I've already seen today so that I can blend in. I mean, sure. maybe just someone, someone, one of them that I would have seen just, like, working or, like, doing something like that. Sure. Makes sense. Um, so, a bunch of tieflings have, like, come out of whatever they're doing to try to ga help gather the llamas. The llamas are terrified. Uh, they don't know why. They're trying to calm down this boy, who's also still flipping his shit. <laughs> um, and there's chaos. You've achieved <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Can I um, fist bump Shavala? Shavala is like bent over, but they do manage to fist you. They're like laughing so hard they can't breathe. <laughs> the rest of you in the tent, what are you doing? Uh, Mural is still just pacing, muttering in Orcish to himself. Hang on. Sorry. My most beloved diary. God? Today I oh. found a magic. Oops! I just heard that somebody knocked on Nikki's side of the door. <laughs> oh, someone interrupted. Oh, here, allow me yeah. to continue doing this bit. My most <laughs> beloved diary. Today I found a necklace that not only accentuates my neck bones, but also <laughs> prevents me from dying at the speed at which I was normally mortal. Neck bones. Clavicles. <laughs> <laughs> you see. Prior to today, whenever I did a stab, I also stabbed myself in the brain. And this was becoming, how is it said, untenable. In such a way that if I did too many stabs, I myself would be dead. Luckily, again, I have found a very beautiful necklace that makes me slowly mortal. <laughs> and perhaps 
one day I will be able to remove this curse completely in a way that allows me to not die at the drop of a hat. Sincerely yours, hugs and kisses. Hugo, Charlemagne, Augustus, Robert, Danton, De Fontaine. Say your full name in your diary, huh? Yep. Also, <laughs> like a signing off thing. Yep. Like my dearest myself. My dearest self. <laughs> Bonjour, mon me. <laughs> <laughs> I should just download Duolingo now. <laughs> yep. Surprised you haven't. I'm doing Duolingo in Russian for uh, Titus. <laughs> There we go. Uh, Dr. Eden Bradford does not require that much effort. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. I oh, wait, I'm sorry, you're not going to learn Ulster Scott? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. The most ridiculous thing that's ever been called in language. Shout out to our Irish listeners. How you doing, Anthony? Our, our Irish listener. Who, uh, it was in there. <laughs> I mean, Ulster Scott is not, not Irish, Irish, but that's fine. A very quiet no from Anthony. Is that no, don't learn Ulster Scott, or no, don't... Please don't bring up my national shame. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Anthony, and thank you for your donations and support. Oh, I love you, Anthony. Nikki, you're alive. Yes, sorry. This is what happens when you're streaming in a house that is not yours. Well, I already had it before. Did you get Forget. in trouble? Yes, I'm in trouble. No. I... <laughs> Got uh oh you broke oh, someone's got house to stream what you got what and you got brought your duck so so I had to go take a shit ton of lactate what oh <laughs> sorry oh, god I thought you just otherwise I die <laughs> I thought you were just gonna say live on air so I had to go take a shit I'm like all right we didn't need to know <laughs> all right you could have just said I had to take a break I was gonna say that's my line like fucking how dare you yeah we only oh. each get one Duolingo French. Okay, so here's what you missed, Nikki. I did okay, a great diary entry. Yeah, I did a great diary entry, and then we um, made fun of Ireland. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> well, we made fun of Ulster Scots, which isn't Ireland. It's yeah, yeah just yeah. Northern Ireland. Well, at a certain point, it was all one country. Okay, anyway. So, like uh, I don't mean like Meryl, you're just uh, pacing and still muttering to yourself in order. Yep, and eventually uh, I'll just go to bed. Um, and handle the plan in the morning. You're just basically cussing to yourself at Orkish, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's you're a saying, oh, fuck. If you're listening, I mean, yeah. I'll tell you some of the things. Uh, there's a lot of curse words. Um, there's a lot of complaining about uh, a madman. And there's a lot of thought I was never going to go back there. Uh, this fucking bullshit, like... Okay, upon hearing about, like, never going back, I'm like, I think Petra's is like, Meryl, will you walk with me? Uh, Meryl, like, keeps going for a second, and it's just like, motherfucker, sit with... Um, y yes? Go on. Uh, and I think, <laughs> I think you guys walk for a minute... It's a little uncomfortable, because he's not <laughs> saying anything. It's very uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. The moon looks great tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All three of the moons. At like um, just as you're about to start saying something, mm -hmm. Petrus, listen, like you're great, and I appreciate uh, how you must feel right now. But I just have to tell you that I'm not interested. I was I'm about, so sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to get at your dick, but thanks for assuming. No, um, I appreciate <laughs> that this must be hard, but not hard. <laughs> like your dick. <laughs> why are you learning why, this language? Why do I do Career, this? school, brain training, <laughs> Why do I deal with this? I think to myself. No, you... <clears throat> so I heard you Just... muttering to yourself because... <laughs> <laughs> um, you... Obviously we all have our secrets. That's fine. I think you're keeping something specifically that's going to come up pretty soon. And I want to know what it is before Ooh, it fucks Maddie us all up. pulling out the backstory. If you... If... There are some things I don't like talking about. I'm sure that's true for you. And that's fine. The reason you don't want to go back 
is it going to get us killed? And by us, I do include you. What don't you want to talk about? I asked you first. Ah, the classic deflection. <laughs> That's, I appreciate that you asked me first, but then you tried to, like, justify it with, like, I've got secrets too. So why don't you start by sharing with the class, and, uh, and that'll, like, help me feel more secure. Okay, so my stuff is specifically related to, like, the canyon. Uh, I'm not really stoked about going back to the orc homeland, because, like, I grew up in the orc homeland. Like you do. Like you do when you're a half-orc. So, I just didn't leave on great terms. But, that probably won't come up, and if it does, it'll just be uncomfortable. Well, let's just put it this way. Um, like, the, what I am trying to avoid uh, would try and kill us, no matter if it was me or not. Because, Homeboy's nickname is The Mad, and I'm pretty sure that... Like, when you're an orc and you get that nickname, it means a lot more than if you were, like, a human or, you know, some or an elf or something. You know, like, a mad elf is, like, probably a mage that does some weird fucked up shit. A mad orc is, like, will eat you and pretty sure that that's going to happen no matter what. So it, like, isn't, like, a me-specific thing. That's... Oh. Do I know that nickname? Would that be something that is that like widespread or is that like? Um, roll a history check. My tablet turned itself off, which is fun. Uh, thirteen. There are many orcs throughout history who have taken on the nickname the. Um, none of them were good people. So, <laughs> okay. I don't know about the, the current one. Okay. Um, you don't you don't know if maybe there are multiple. Mm -hmm. um, it's very possible. You don't know any specific names attached. Okay. That's more info than I had. If you... I'll take it. That's fine. That gives me an idea of something that we should be aware of. So... Yeah, yeah. If, you, if, we meet, if we meet anyone uh, with the moniker "the Mad," probably not even if it's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, just run. Yeah, we'll just, we just run because we'll I'm just go. gonna run. That's what I'm gonna do. So, like you, you know, control your own destiny. But I'm gonna run. Works for me. Okay. Cool. Good talk. Good talk. I'm going to bed. Fetches has had a hard day. A llama walks by. <laughs> a llama. <laughs> What the fuck? A very fuck? scared llama just like <laughs> runs in between it. <laughs> um, as you guys are walking out, yeah. As you guys are walking out, uh, Hugo, did you go back to the tent? Where did you think I'm walking about that? Where you? <laughs> Boy, that was gone, that. buddy. <laughs> Boy, that's what's a liberal pronunciation of the word diary. <laughs> diary. 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 <laughs> anyway, I um, as Petros and uh, Mural, as you guys are walking back to the just. Three terrified llamas just shoot past you, followed by three very frustrated tiefling handlers. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. I am not going to interact with this situation. I refuse. There's just go something back. going on. You see, Johnny, that's a stance on llamas that we should all take, really. But some that's, of us... that's uh, Andrew's stance on llamas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll... All right. You go back to the tent. I'll go find out what's going on. <laughs> Petros is a hero. No, Petros the lawful. Petros um, the cop. Petros the, cop. Petros the cop. Oi, 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 what's all this then? Oi. <laughs> oi. Um, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm going to go in the direction the llamas were coming from. Just you like, go in the, direct, the direction I'm going the for llamas ground were zero. coming from. <laughs> Llama ground zero. You pass by um, a few more people who are trying to, like, clean up some of the, the chaos. The llamas have, like, gone through a few tents. So, like, they're now having to be rebuilt, put up again. Uh, they have to repair the canvas. Uh, fairly easy. Some of them have magic. Uh, so it's okay. Don't feel too bad, Chalva. 
<laughs> I know. Destroying the infrastructure. <laughs> Did you think I was feeling bad? <laughs> don't worry, I don't. <laughs> and um, you arrive at. So you pass by, there's a small tiefling boy surrounded by some tiefling adults, and, like, the boy is just crying, and he's, like, blubbering on and on about this monster that he saw. Um, you don't see any monster? Uh, you do see Shavala trying to contain themselves, standing next to, um, a tiefling that you think you've seen before. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um... There's, uh, and then, uh, you see in the pen, um, in which one llama is standing, <laughs> staring at Shivala and the tiefling, just slowly chewing and glaring at them with, like, its lopsided eye that's seen too many things. So many lives this llama has led. <laughs> <clears throat> Shavala, hey. Uh, Hello. So, what the fuck? Llamas. How do they work? I know. Crazy. Any idea what happened? You know, they, it looked like they just got out. Hello, stranger. Yeah. Hey, I think I've seen you before. I'm kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I think they just got out. Uh, we're gonna go help. Uh huh. Okay. We're go I'm just gonna help. All right. Yeah. I'm... We're gonna wrangle remember them up. Remember that you are. Remember, um, Shalva, you are pissed drunk. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> that true. That does not stop you from acting drunk. <laughs> okay, got it. No, we're gonna go. We're gonna go wrangle them up. You know. Savala, come on, let's go. You play a good drunk if somebody doesn't drink. <laughs> We're gonna go help clean this up. You yeah, I think that would be a good idea. I think you probably should do that. I mean, of course he has a good drunk confession. He spends a lot of time around very drunk people <laughs> while stone-ass cold sober. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Johnny. I realized that was a dig at both of us, but I don't know what you're talking about. That was a dig at, like, in general, if you're sober, the every time you see a drunk person, you're sober. <laughs> what wise words. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, anyway, um, maybe they can use your help or whatever, Petros. We're gonna go. <laughs> and I'd start walking. Okay, bye. Yeah, I'm gonna the help with the lava. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I have an idea of what's going on. Not a full picture, but an inkling. It's fine. I'm going to help wrangle the llamas and go to bed. Okay, you spend the next few hours helping people get the oh. llamas back into the uh, pen. And one of the clerics uses mending to fix the llamas. They're all still there. Uh, the llamas are crowded near their their tall leader. <laughs> The one who stared at the face of God and spat in it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then you can go to bed. Great. I'm gonna pass the fuck out. Um, so you guys take your long rest. My dearest diary. <laughs> oh god, why? The tent smells like Loma Speed, and I cannot determine <laughs> why. <laughs> How many how many diary entries do you need to do? A tiefling came into the tent tonight. I think they were lost. They quickly backed out of the tent, and then, incidentally, Shalva showed up. <laughs> no, it no, has she, been a long day. She definitely walked in as the tiefling and just like went, got down on the bed and went to sleep, and then like at some point during the night, transformed back into Shalva. It was weird. This random tiefling it took Shalva's spot in the in the tent. But they seemed quite drunk, and I didn't want to say anything, because who knows? Maybe I am wrong here. Maybe that is actually that person's house. Maybe I was somewhere I was not supposed to be. Anyway, I went to sleep and did not pay it any mind. But when I woke up, the tiefling was gone, and Shalva was there. This seems unrelated. <laughs> Perhaps the two met in the middle of the night and had an exchange about please do not steal my bed. Anyway, it appears resolved now. 
XOXO. <laughs> Hugo. Gossip Hugo. You XOXO yourself. <laughs> no one else will. You can't love yourself. <laughs> you can't love anybody else. Nobody else will, so. Nobody else will, so I'll XOXO myself. <laughs> Great. Okay, so also, you guys... Oh, keep going. No, I just... I mean, yes, one interpretation is is like hugs and kisses, comma, Hugo. But that also might be how he writes his, like, MySpace username or something. <laughs> it's XO, Hugo, XO. He has, a, he has a username? Yeah. So he's a emo kid. Yeah, yeah. this is, this is his live journal. <laughs> this is his Zanga. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. <laughs> So you guys, uh, you guys have your sleep, you have your long rest, you regain your HP and your spells, um, and whatnot. And, um, how are you guys going to prepare for the journey ahead? Uh, super early in the morning, uh, trying to get up before everyone else. Uh, Meryl is gonna slip away and try and find kind of like a private changing room and, uh, disguise self into an orc. Okay, you do that. Everyone else? Shauna is fucking sleeping in. <laughs> I got so much rest. She's also, uh, did not like, cut, like, uh, uh, clean herself or anything before laying down and falling asleep. So, still very much covered in llama spit and, like, sticking to the bed. Yeah. And to Big the move. Oh. Please Big move. take a shower. <laughs> Please take a shower. I know that feeling. <laughs> My most beloved sensual diary. <laughs> Good lord, the tenth stink today. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole entry. <laughs> There's not even a signing home. off or anything. I, did, just... I do not have more to this joke. <laughs> Adios, Hugo. Uh, so I definitely <laughs> sleep in. So you sleep in. Um, yeah. Hugo and Petros? I mean, I'm just kind of, like, gathering supplies, like, getting stuff packed. I am trying to figure out emotionally, mentally, physically, metaphysically, what to do with this blue dragon that I feel is my son now, but I'm like, <laughs> we cannot take a black dragon with us. We just can't. We can't do this. Eventually that dragon is gonna get bigger and you can all ride it. Can we ride it? Fuck it, never you, mind, we're taking the dragon with would, us. Would you like to play on a scene? Okay, sure. My friend, I see that you have concerns about this big blue beastie. Uh, that's putting it lightly, yeah. Do you think it would be inadvisable of sorts to bring that into the, the homeland of the Archie Boys? I don't think it'll go well for us or it, no. Is it because it is a big dragon? No, it's because it's blue, Hugo. Oh. Yes, you it's see, because it's a big is... fucking dragon. <laughs> ah. Perhaps I am the mess. Uh, <laughs> perhaps, uh... Uh, Hugo doesn't know shit about dragons despite speaking draconic whoops never mind he knows a lot about <laughs> dragons um, but Nikki this is a question for you uh, yes uh, big beastie boy have wings <clears throat> yes he does cool can beastie big beastie boy fly yes he can okay they're, he's not like Buzz Lightyear they're not ornamental <laughs> no no this is a uh, this is a blue dragon this it's like imagine a western dragon just blue and it has a long tail with spikes Okay. okay, I was not confused about that at all, but thank you. Um, okay. I was a little bit, so uh, that helps. It's also a medium dragon. It's a medium size, so it can hold one person. Hmm. If we want to, by the way, end up naming this dra dragon Buzz Lightyear, I'm game. Um, um, it has a name, you just haven't asked it. And I never will. Speaking of psychopaths. Oh, Speaking no. of psychopaths, Buzz Lightyear. That does actually <laughs> bother me. Uh... Uh, what, that the dragon has a name and you haven't asked it? And you've yeah. adopted it without knowing what its name That's, is? That sucks. Well, here, as I speak par as I sp as Hugo speaks... <laughs> I speak parcel tongue. As I speak parcel tongue. Ah, <laughs> still. Um, as I speak parcel draconic, mm -hmm. uh, Hugo is going to walk up to the dragon and just goes, uh, Oui, oui, mon ami. <laughs> uh, to the dragon. But in but in draconic, which... Draconic with a French accent, so like... Bonjour, belle vira. <laughs> Sure. What's hyperconic <laughs> sounds in my head? I don't know. <laughs> uh, my, my, my friend, how are you on this glorious sunshiny morning? There's no sun, is there? 
it's he, a desert. Uh, yeah, there is. <laughs> okay. You're in the desert. <laughs> well, you know what? Fuck me for assuming there was a moon, so... <laughs> Continue. <laughs> it's okay. Consider yourself. Anyway, <laughs> Rocks Fall and Hugo dies. End of story. <laughs> so, my friend, how are you doing on this beautiful sunshiny morning? <laughs> yes, I am. I... He, he uh, moves around and kind of ruffles his wings a little bit and puts his head on his, like, clawed feet. And he's like, I am good. How about you? My, my friend, it appears that we have known each other a full calendar day. And uh, I do not know quite how to refer to you. Is, do, uh, is a name something that you have? Uh, you may call me Rashad. Oh, that is it, Arabelle. Rashad. <laughs> Says Hugo back to the dragon, cutting off the last like three consonants. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how to spell that? That's R A A X A T. I see you are also an email. Um, <laughs> yeah, you X guys can connect over yeah, your like, capital X O X O. Uh, wonderful, my friend. You may call me Hugo Shalomin Augustus Robert and Fontaine Fontaine, or for short, Hugo de Fontaine. <laughs> Ah, uh, it, it is an absolute pleasure to meet you. I am sorry the circumstances of our meeting were so traumatic, but I am glad you are healthy and whole now. I am in your debt. Oh, well, please, it was no problem to use the magical necklace that I found five minutes ago to heal you. Ah, <laughs> uh, that being said, my friend, I am curious about your, your beautiful and elegant wingspan. Uh, are you able to, uh, as the elves say, do the zoom zoom in the sky? I am able to fly, yes. I didn't really have much of a chance when I was imprisoned in, in the dungeon, but... No, of course. I can fly. The ceilings were very low and the holes were quite tight. Uh, so it might take me a little bit to get used to my wingman. Well, my friend, what I am wondering is that uh, we are about to, to enter into the Orkin homeland in the... It is a, a secret, uh, secret hush hush sort of mission. So perhaps it is advisable if you were to. Uh, do you feel comfortable uh, flapping about in the sky over us, but in such a way that you are unseeable? I mean, if if you want to come with us at all, I'm here now. Hello, I'm oh, part of this. Hello, sea. this is my friend Patros. Patros, this is Rachel. <laughs> I'm your dad. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot we have co-fathered this dragon. <laughs> I'm your dad. <laughs> Boogie woogie. Woogie. <laughs> um, uh, are, this... That's that's the yeah the dragon like is, like waves its tail. It's like you are my dad. You're my dad. It's like a picture of Petros. Boogie woogie woogie. I am also dead. Okay. Um. Uh, this is our son. Uh, <laughs> this is our son. <laughs> Petros, it has been many years, but this is your son. <laughs> um. Uh. No, I I, I introduced the two uh, formally now that I know uh, the dragon's name. Excellent. Uh, I, I, the dragon. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, dragon. Um, I assumed that. I'll see myself to help. <laughs> I you assumed. I assumed that you would be coming with us. I think that was presumptuous. Um, if you did want to come with us, I think that would be a good option. I'm worried about hunters, people who would want to attack you. Um, it's going to be. Not super dangerous and fairly complicated, but... But if you are so far up in the sky, perhaps they could not shoot you with the little arrows. Or the big arrows. It would also be fairly arrows. difficult for their weapons to pierce my hat. <laughs> Fair enough. Because you, because, because you are... you are swan? <laughs> because you are yeah the dragon baby. just like fucking flexes oh that is my son so grown <laughs> up say, that's how you know that's my son uh, they grow up so fast um, one day they are put a fetus and now they are swollen and raped uh, alternatively <laughs> also wife. if if you would be willing to take one of us on your back two of us can shapeshift and one of us is already a half orc one of us is not if three of us can walk around on foot looking like orcish people and you could be up on our dragon friend, maybe that would be a way to go about this too. I also disguise myself. Oh. Well, fuck me then. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. 
Just letting you know, it hasn't come up yet, but I also, I think I have like a plus six. Okay, well, <laughs> Petros doesn't know that, so. Yeah, I know, I'm just. Well, uh, Petros could say that, and then Hugo's yeah. like, hey, I can disguise myself, but. Okay, well, we have an option then if, if somebody needs to not be orc adjacent. <laughs> yeah, I have crazy high deception and sleight of hand, so I'm good at lying. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, <laughs> I can, of course, be there to protect um, the best that I can. I do owe my life to you after all. I would not want to leave that debt on. I don't think that there's a debt. I. That was not the intent. If you want to live your life free, I think that you should do that. If you want to help us, I would not say no, but also. I would not keep you imprisoned when we just freed you from your chains. No, no, no. That would be deeply unethical. I really have nowhere to go. All right, then you're coming with <laughs> us. You're our son. <laughs> woogie boogie boogie. <laughs> boogie woogie. You're my kid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I have to make a meme tonight. <laughs> uh, great. I think that was the only thing that was concerning me. So if that's the plan, is that you, they will fly above and we'll be in the forest, and I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Bye bye. All right. <laughs> anybody, anybody else got anything away. else we want to do? Or yeah, like Hugo and Petros go? both do like an about face, 180 degree turn, and just it's walk so away like in right. two different directions. <laughs> <laughs> On scene. <laughs> Which Hugo says out loud. <laughs> All scene. On scene. On scene. Mais on scene. Hugo. As you guys come yes, out, Aaron, you... please. Um, <laughs> Miro, will you make your reappearance? Uh, yeah, so, uh, y'all come back in. Why don't you describe to us what you look like now? Yeah, you see a very large, swole as fuck, uh, big orc with lots of, like, battle scars, uh, but standing sort of, like, daintily. Okay. How tall? Uh, like, seven, two... <laughs> Maddie, this is just like being a kid again. No, he's six seven, so he's like, damn it, I was the tall one. <laughs> so this is this guy's self, right? Yep. This is is this a spell or do you have a disguise kit? No, I'm asking you metally. No, I know, and okay. I'm not gonna tell you metally. Metally. Okay, well then I will picture the fact that you are on stilts. <laughs> <laughs> You're really at. just three barrels in a big coat. <laughs> I'm just three barrels in a muscle jacket. You have like little One of those like muscle six shirts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're walking onto like kind of like peg leg constructions that are like eight inches tall and made of bamboo. Or whatever. The, it's the highest heels. <laughs> <laughs> the largest platforms. Oh, my friend, your calves looking quite a bit. <laughs> um. But yeah, you probably don't know that this is Miro. <laughs> oh, well then. Oh, look at that. Just another Look at that orc, orc with incredible calves. <laughs> <laughs> Cannon. I have incredible calves. Every orc does. And a great butt. <laughs> Every orc does. Every orc does. Orcs are known for their phenomenal ass. That's racist. <laughs> no, you just said that. Um... Are you, like, approaching the group? Are you just, I'm like... I'm just, like, standing in front of the tent. Hey. <laughs> Stranger. Um, my name is Petros. Can I help you? Uh, the orc, like, leans down and in and gets really close hey, to your face. motherfucker. And it's just like, <laughs> it's me, Meryl. Why? <laughs> Why? You couldn't have been a shorter orc to make me feel better about myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm having flashbacks to being bullied in orc elementary school. <laughs> I mean, that's why I went with a big orc, is so that we don't get fucked with. Fair enough. Okay, great. I guess we're ready <laughs> to go. Do you have, like, okay, an orc so... name? <laughs> We still calling you Meryl? How deep does this go? Um. Yeah, Meryl, do you have an orc name? I should probably think of that. <laughs> you can think of it on the, the, yeah. the ride, Let I me guess. try some things on. But make sure not to procrastinate so that we don't get 
<laughs> and this is our friend. <laughs> uh, just call me Zog. Ah, uh, before Zog. 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 <clears throat> Great. Okay. Um. Well, we have one person left. Are you still asleep? Yeah. <laughs> All right, into the cart you go. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Hugo and Petros work together to lift. As soon as uh, you touch, you feel fly. Uh, <laughs> Hugo finds some gloves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess he was already wearing gloves. Yeah, right? no, I think I, I already like have the uh, implication that it's still wet. <laughs> it's still yeah. wet. At, at, like eight hours later, it has not dried up. Well, they're laying on man. it. <laughs> the llamas, man, that's how they be. Yeah. Um. All right. So, uh, Hugo's already wearing gloves, but he like cinches them down a little more so that it doesn't like goop him up. And yep. All right. One, two, or sorry, un, dos, <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> And you were asleep. Back, we have to go. And we put him in the back of the pickup. <laughs> our pickup truck. <laughs> this is now Mad Max. Um, uh, this is a road trip campaign. As soon as everyone bit, starts yeah. touching Shalva, she kind of like slowly wakes up and is like, what Oop. are you hey. doing? Hey. Why did... uh, There's a big orc behind everyone. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, oh God. Uh, don't move. We're going to drop you. Uh, Meryl like dives, like <laughs> thinking that there's something behind him. <laughs> Stop. Oh my God. It's fine. That's Meryl. No, that's an orc. Hi. Oh no, it's Meryl. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, no, really. I promise. Are you sure? I am sure. No, not you. I mean, pretty. I'm pretty sure my opinion is the most important one on the matter. No, because you could be lying. That's right. Another random orc just came out of the desert rather than our friend who can change. There's disguise, already one so. orc here. You. Random orc in the desert. Yeah, I came with you guys, though. <laughs> I also came with you guys. I just am disguised now. Tell us something that only Meryl would know. Oh, I God. hate you. <laughs> No, I think a lot of people might know. All right, um, I'm just imagining. Lynx is the most appreciated creature on this planet. All right, fair enough. (laughs) Can you put me down? (laughs) I would say that the greatest argument to the fact that this is Mural is the fact that Blinks is still trying to climb up into Mural's arms, even though now Mural is like (laughs) over small. I I pick up Blinks and I'm just stretching. Well, I'm gonna yes, use Blinksy. I'm gonna use He's the only word. He's very happy. I'm gonna use the only word that I've learned in Duolingo so far. Ah, le chat. What's that mean? Cap. Oh. <laughs> uh, Shalva like goes to dust herself off and like finds that she is still sticky and wet. Um, and is like, what the fuck happened? My friend, I do not know if you know this. It's one of the llamas, the ones that escaped last night unprompted. I think one of them attacked you while you were getting drunk. Fuck! Fucking llamas? Uh, Mural Prezidigitates you clean. Oh. <laughs> thank my, my thank friend, you. I have wonderful news for you. You no longer smell like shit. <laughs> I do not As mean you're literal saying shit. This, uh... Metaphorical <laughs> shit. As you're saying this, um, Shiv- both Shavala and the Oracle approach your tent from. <laughs> what a scene. I guess wherever they were before. <laughs> You didn't have to say and, anything. And uh, Shivala seems completely unfazed by the fact that there is now an orc uh, with you guys. <laughs> no problems, no judgment. Whoever you are, whatever. Uh, and uh, puts their hand on uh, Shalva and said, The big llama spit on you. <laughs> <laughs> we have gathered what? from our investigation. What big llama? The. It's better you don't know. It's better you forget. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask you later, but right now my head really hurts. <laughs> I think you should drink some water or something. Oh, water sounds good. And they they take their water, their little canteen, and hand it. Okay, I drink all of it. <laughs> all right, everyone, mark off a water on your sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Shaval just doesn't have any more. <laughs> Um, as, and the Oracle, uh, as you guys, as Shivala is talking to Shalva and Meryl, uh, the Oracle, um, puts her hand on Petrus's arm, um, and says, 
Um, may I speak to you for a moment in private? Um, yeah, of course. And so she pulls you aside, um, uh, as she does so, and she waits until you guys are out of earshot of the rest of the group, or she says, you, you are a son of Melora, right? Uh, yes. Is that the only god you serve? Last time I checked. I think you should be careful. Uh, not to be flippant, I generally try to be. Is there something in particular I should be cautious of? I can usually tell what kinds of gods people worship or serve by, but you have two aura. Mm. One of Melora and one that is unfamiliar to me, not friendly, like something is following you around. <laughs> Great! In the background, all of us are waving. <laughs> It's that. <laughs> that is the oh, dark Oh, you mean my, like, <laughs> 12 French children guy. that I now have? It's just the French guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, no worries. Can you... I... Okay. You don't have... I know this sounds silly. You don't have anything more, right? I... I don't know. It no, doesn't matter. I... Something is, usually I would be able to see exactly what god you worship, but all I can see is the blue of Melora and then dark black aura. Something else. But, I don't know if it's just because you all have come through the abyss and maybe picked something up, or... You haven't had any strange visions, have you? I... Um, I have, actually. I, uh, I mean, I've had, uh, dreams for years, but recently I've had, uh, waking visions. Not often. But sometimes. I think you should take this with you. She reaches into, um, one of the bags hanging from her skirt and hands you a small amulet shaped kind of like a bead. She hands it to you. Sorry, not to interrupt this moment. Did you say a beetle? Yes, it's shaped okay. like a beetle, like a scarab. Great, oh. it broke up a little bit. You've got to lock the cable wonders now. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Nikki, Who I... disturbs my slumber? Ooh. Yeah, Nikki, when you're talking quietly, I think the noise gate's cutting you off a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. See, I hear scarab, and I think of the mummy. Mm. <laughs> also that, yeah. I hate that. Thank you. Um. Thank you. What is it? Do I... Where it? What is it? What does it do? It will protect you from evil. Okay, thank you. I I appreciate that. Be safe. I'll try. So that scarab has a use of an aura of protection from evil. Okay. Uh, any, like, gameplay mechanic stuff for that, or just kind of, like, general? Um, you know the spell protection from evil? Oh, okay. It's, like, imbued with the spell. Okay. I will have to look that up in a second. Thank you. I'm just writing it down. Yep. And then she leads you back over to your group. To clarify, is that protection from evil and good, or is it only evil? Only evil. I don't even have that spell. I do have that spell. Cool. That help. that is nice. Great. Oracle, thank you. Um, thank you for all you've done for us. I appreciate your help. Be safe. Well, I can't promise anything for these guys, but I will certainly do it. No, it's fine. I'll. They'll be. We'll be fine. We'll be great. Can I roll an insight on that? Does Petrus believe that? <laughs> I think he... I can tell you right now. You don't have to roll insight. I for rolled. Your... I rolled a 14. Okay, great. He is nervous, but I don't think he thinks y'all are going to die today. Like, he's like, I don't think we're going to die. Today. Yeah, I think he's more nervous for himself than anybody else, but, like, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. It'll be okay. Uh, with that, Nikki, I think we're about reaching our halfway point if we uh, want to take our commercial break. 
Yeah, I was about to say that. Okay, I know great. How to tell time. <laughs> I don't think you don't. It's my job as producer to say so, though. Uh, all right, folks. Hey, this has uh, been the first half of Legends of Leia. We will be back in about uh, 10 minutes' time, so please do stay tuned for the second half of this adventure. Go ahead and cut to blank. Oh, we're actually going now. Yep.
<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back to the second half of Legends of Laia. Uh, just a quick uh, thing before we get started, if you live in the Portland area, we are doing a fan and community and staff meetup uh, over at uh, Unicorn Brewing down here in southeast Portland. Uh, we would very much like you to join us. There is an event page attached to our Facebook group. Uh, we are going to be doing uh, some uh, uh, tabletop live on, on scene. Uh, there's going to be a raffle with some various prizes attached to our various shows. And then uh, to end the night, I will be doing a live roll with it uh, involving audience participation and everything. Uh, so if you like uh, our shows, tabletop, other fans, you just want to meet us, all that jazz, uh, that is going to be July 20th uh, down here in Southeast Portland at uh, Unicorn Brewing. Once again, we have an, a, uh, an event page attached to our Facebook page. We highly encourage you to check that out. We highly encourage you to attend. Uh, more details to follow in the next coming weeks. Uh, once again, I'd like to remind people that tomorrow is City of Thorns. Our Shadowrun dystopic campaign uh, starts streaming at 6 p.m. tomorrow right here on twitch.tv forward slash Infinity Break Gaming. Uh, we highly recommend you stay tuned into that as the action intensifies. Isn't that right, Johnny? Mm-hmm. We have a real feisty game for you on Monday. I, I, I'm very excited. You have you have no clue. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, yes, you have a clue. You're on the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, without further ado, uh, please welcome back Dungeon Master Supreme, Nikki Boylan. Hello, hello. I think I just gave welcome you Welcome back to now. Legends of Laia. Um, we are uh, about to start our journey in toward the Orc homeland. You all have your... Um, belongings, your fellow traveler, uh, as you leave, um, you leave, uh, you lose sight of the Zafari settlement, and, um, eventually everything blends into the desert. Um, who is navigating? Oh, 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 not me. I am not from here, my friend. Oh, would that be like a survival? Or is that matter? Or is that just, it's just flavor text? Uh, it's a survival check. I'm pretty good at that. I feel like you and I tend to switch off who's yeah, surviving. So I would agree, except that it's very bright. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, you would be rolling to. with disadvantage, Andrew. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'll assist, because I've been here before. Uh, I rolled a 22. Or that. <laughs> Oh, hey, did you... And you're just like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Just um, So, having lived in the desert for most of his cop career, uh, <laughs> Petros, Petros leads you <laughs> through the desert. Career. Um, It's surprising how well he manages to do it, considering everything the same out here. Uh, the dragon follows behind you, hovering in the air uh, as he flies behind you. Um, and your magic cart also follows behind you with Shalva and Shavala both slightly hung over the back and uh, <laughs> with their hoods over their faces because it's really sunny. So is Shalva... Shalva has a hood and her huge hat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So and have both. Yeah. Is Shavala then the only person that can't disguise themselves as an orc? Uh, I don't think that they can. I think I might have been talking out of my ass earlier. I don't actually have a disguise kit. Mm. I can deceive, though, and I can be a decept deceptive prisoner. <laughs> no, deceptive really. Prisoner. I'm an yeah, orc. The... Um, I'm also an orc. If we know anything about Shavala, it's that we're going to get there and they're going to be like, Hey, Shavala, how's it going? <laughs> Fair Welcome <point>. back. <laughs> Hey, not everybody knows me. <laughs> that was it. They're the only. You just happened to go through my old haunts, but after this, it's I've never been before. <laughs> can I insight that? <laughs> <laughs> you can roll insight if you want. I'm going to. That's an 18. Uh, they've never been here before. Mm. Or they're good at deception. <laughs> Both where's our dragon and is anyone riding the dragon and can it be me? You can ride the dragon if you want. Cool, I will see you on. I will be in the, the sky. 
I'm okay, in the sky so now. Hugo's riding the dragon. Hugo, oh. Hugo is riding Raja. And. I'm in the sky. Or. Raja! Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I cannot be. I'm sorry. I have my own cart. So I need to drive that. That's do right. You, you have, have to be your own cart, your cart, or did we lose so... that? Nope, we still have it. Oh, we do still have it. You're right. Unless, did you guys leave it on the other side of the canyon? I don't think we did. I think we brought it down with us. I think I no, you lobbied brought everything to leave with it you. in Petros. Uh, let's, can we formally <laughs> redcon like, it that we still have it? <laughs> sounds like a pretty standard. You never website. left it. All right, good. So, yes. Yeah, so we have two we wagons, have and, two All right, wagons so. and a dragon. <laughs> two wagons and a dragon. <laughs> wagons and dragons. Tonight <laughs> on Infinite. <laughs> Dungeons and Wagons. Tonight on everyone's favorite tabletop, Wagons and Dragons. <laughs> uh, so they're following behind you. Uh, Petros. Petros. Yeah. Petros. Yeah, yes, yes. If you see any orcs or whatever, tell me so I can disguise myself, okay? You got it. Okay, thanks. I'm you don't be, want to just be... do that now, or? It only lasts for an hour. Oh, okay, I'm that's fair. concerned yeah. that... We're going to run in, or it's not going to be long enough. All right, got it. Thank you. I'll be back here. Okay. Have a so good it's hard nap. To tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not doing the sun too well. As uh, It's hard to tell how much time passes because the sun doesn't seem to really move anywhere in the sky. It just seems to stay in the same place the whole time. Uh, it's hard to tell time generally. <laughs> But, um, as you move further and further in the desert, um, the sand stops because- stops being, um, as soft and becomes a little more rocky. And eventually you come across what seems to be a, uh, broken cart. Ah, it's the old broken cart. And, um, it looks like- or, I guess you can roll perception or investigation to- see to check it out. Yeah, I rolled best roll me a perception. Oh, and I got a 14. Ugh. Got a 10. Oh, Petra. Um, the only thing that you can tell is that it looks like this did not break down because of where it Cool. Fuck yeah, guys. It's a cart. Um, it also has nothing in it anymore. Well, that's boring. Let's keep going. Uh, can I investigate for perhaps uh, signs of a struggle? Maybe uh, hey. sword chips uh, that or, or that took like chips of the wood out of the side or something. You may. You go over here looking for chips. Okay. Well, uh, I didn't do well, but I have a pretty high enough modifier that I don't think that matters. Oh, let me open my character sheet back up for some reason. Huh? I hate so that. don't here's, know why that closed. Here's a fun thing I just realized. Uh, I don't need to sleep. I do a trance, but apparently I sleep. I choose to sleep because <laughs> I'm an elf. That would be an eleven. Doesn't. That would be an eleven in total. Like that. Um. So as you get closer and you you take you um, investigate a little more, you see that it has the wheels have been just hacked into pieces. Um. You don't know by what. Presumably, some kind of weapon, an axe, or some something with that has a lot of strength behind it, um, has just destroyed the spokes of the wheels of his cart. Hugo does not down. Sorry, Hugo does not hop down off of his cart, but he's kind of like leaning over the edge of his driver's seat to be like, uh, "My friends, I I do not think this is just your standard. Uh, everybody disappears from a cart problem. Uh, I think uh, I think a, a, a conflict happened here." All right, well, we'll have to be careful then. Can you tell what did it? I mean, the wheels, they have been all sorts of fucked. Uh, perhaps there was a, a writing party. I, uh, maybe a large bird went to town on this. <laughs> large bird glasses. Large bird. Um, With his mini sharp claws. Sorry, talons. <laughs> talons. Do we see any more than that? I mean, rolled an 11, like, man. Can I see, can I do a quick look around to see if there's anything, like, on the horizon or anything, like, around us, not specifically, like, the wagon? Yes, you may. Perception. Please, God, please, why? <laughs> please. That's a seven. I have a plus three to um, perception. You're the worst of me. You can't, 
you look, but the no, sun is, I like, right in your eye, shit. and you see, like, mounds on the horizon, but you can't really tell if it's just rocks or regular desert things. I will percept as well. Left my fucking shades at home. Fourteen. Um, you narrow your eyes. Miro, what do your fake orc eyes see? <laughs> what do your elf eyes see through your orc costume? <laughs> I just imagined you like looking through like a ma- like a rubber mask. <laughs> I want someone to do this this fan art specifically. It's Miro's elf ears poking through uh, like a rubber orc like Shrek mask, <laughs> and. He's like green. wearing a mm-hmm. like a spray painted green muscle suit. <laughs> so he, he's and like on stilts. He's like the Lufer no Hulk, but with elf <laughs> ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm imagining. <laughs> that is uh that is a distinct look. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you uh narrow your eyes through your rubber Shrek mask, I guess. <laughs> Um, you notice that these aren't rocks. On the horizon, there seem to be more remnants of, um, some kind of, there are buildings that, or carts or, um, various shapes. They're definitely not rocks, though. Like, they're not natural formations. Hmm. I, mean, I no really to... hope that that's not just, like, a bunch of broken down carts. That would be real ominous. Real fucked up. There's um, a lot of birds in the area. <laughs> Very large birds. I mean, nowhere to go but forward, basically, right? Just keep our eyes open. Hey, little dragon buddy, from up there, can you see anything? Oh, I uh, should perceive. Let me fucking pull up his stats, because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> the downside of letting us adopt everything. <laughs> uh, Shova, at this point, sense. now that we've been stopped and everyone's talking and stuff, uh, is gonna roll out of the cart and swagger on over to the broken cart. Um, okay. Um, for anything in particular? Um, I'll let the dragon thing happen first, but. Um, Rajat um cranes his neck, and um, from his vantage point in the sky, he seems to be able to see better. He said, "It looks like a, it looks like a bunch of tent." Tents? And cart. Uh, Hugo translates that to everyone else. <coughs> Nikki, you broke up a little bit. You said tents and carts? Tents and carts. Like functional ones? Or defunct uh, ones? Defunct. Like okay. they've all been destroyed. They're just Uh-oh. mounds of... Great. Hmm. Can I, uh... Can, once I make it over there, uh, can I look around and see if there are any tracks... Like Tracks? I could tell, yeah, yeah, yeah. like footprints, uh, footprints, yeah. or was this roll an survival. animal? Was this okay? You can roll a uh, survival or knowledge. Need. Uh, I'm gonna do me a survival. Okay. That'd be a seventeen. Um, these tracks are uh pretty big. <laughs> um. About the size you imagine as Mural's new orc form. Dope. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and roll for my weapon. <laughs> hey, Mural, did you step over here? Are these your footprints? No. Uh, that is a three, and I would like a rapier. Uh, you summon that little pink dagger of yours. Nice. Dope! <laughs> nice. Hugo, Hugo moves his hand toward his actual rapier that exists in the meat space. The what? The meat, the meat space. space? Did you put it in his meat space? No. Nope. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. I'll leave. Uh, <laughs> Hugo goes quick. Yeah. And just drives <laughs> out of there. I mean, there we, he goes. We don't see anyone right now, but we should be ready. No. I mean, yeah. I think, so I think this is orcs. Yeah, I'll like ready my shield. Um, I'm well, not drawing my sword yet, but. Let's uh, let's get in the carts and get going, and just keep an eye and make sure they don't come. Yeah. Keep your head on the swivel. Yeah. Perhaps it would, uh... I don't think this maybe matters that much, but how are we dispersed? Is it two to a cart, or...? 
I'm pretty sure yeah, all of us were in one cart and you were in your cart. Yeah, okay. you have your own cart. The rest of us are on the okay, other cart. Okay, but like there's more than one seat. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're just rude. We're just mean. <laughs> <laughs> We've been like low-key bullying you this whole time by all sitting in one cart instead of sitting with you. Yep. Okay. To be fair, this is my cart, so I don't feel bad. Okay. This is where Blinks is, so I don't feel bad. This is where Shavala is, and I'm going to chill with him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on your cursed cart. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, yeah, this is your last time you drove this cart, you got kidnapped. And my cart is not cursed. <laughs> I am cursed. Yeah, and I don't want to ride on a cart with someone who's cursed. This isn't. This is fucking ableist. How are you doing back there, Hugo? I'm doing... Oh, okay. I guess I'm behind now. Oh, yeah. I guess I already was. I just picture myself ahead because that's how Hugo thinks of himself. Um, uh, no. That's why no one rides in your cart. <laughs> you just hear a distance, uh, a distant, like, oh. I'm good. Bon something. Hooray. <laughs> French. Bon, bon chance. <laughs> bon chance. Bon chance. Bon chance. Arc de Triomphe. The Louvre. Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, great. We just keep, I think we're like readying up. Um, so what's what's the plan? <laughs> the body of body power. <laughs> Are we going with the with the orc idea or? Uh, yeah, I think you should orc up. T- uh, <clears throat> I my voice just changed abruptly. I went through reverse ghost. puberty. Uh, I think you should go. I think you should orc up. I'm sorry, did you want me to call it something else? I don't know. You should go full orc. Right, I'll orc out. You should orc out, yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining a Sailor Moon transformation. Is that fair? Is that valid? <laughs> no. Okay. I think that's pretty valid. <laughs> that's what God said. Apparently I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't know what the actual hand gesture is. <laughs> that's pretty close. Uh, I yeah, I, I will cast Disguise Self on myself. Uh, I'm only... I am only 5'4", and Disguise Self can only make you appear one foot shorter or taller, so I'm going to be a 6'4 orc, so I'm going to be kind of a short orc. Um, so I'll be like a, a, a female orc with like, I guess like plate armor on, but kind of like dingy plate armor, like it's it's seen some wear and tear. Um, uh, uh, Petros, what god do they usually worship? Oh fuck! I don't remember. <laughs> um, I mean, Nikki, can you please tell me? Like, what would be a? I would know that. I just me, Matthew, the player, does not know this or remember this. Um. Yes. Hang on a sec. Let me. It would be um, really. This is really what we're doing right now. Pull it up. Here. Actually, the the transformation looks like uh, Gary and his demons when he pulls out the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Sword make me better. <laughs> I become myself, but a better yes, version the of the myself. Left. I'm the best. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Sailor Moon. She has, she has a mustache too. <laughs> yep. Well done. <laughs> In weird. Hang the on. dewy stash of Gendadish. <laughs> In the mall. The mall of Brad. <laughs> so you would know that there are three um or orcish deities mostly worshipped in this area. There is Grunsh, the god of storms and war, mm. um, Dol Dorn, the god of strength at arms, and Kord, the god of athletics and um you know that Grunsh is mostly worshipped by the more martial war um tribes. Uh, whereas the other two are a little more welcome in other areas of life. Okay, I relay that information, so take your pick. You got three. Do you know which one would be more prevalent here? I mean, I feel like if they're going to be attacking us, it's going to be the Groomsh, right? Yeah. Um, Nikki, wild guess, but I'm guessing I would be the most familiar with Groomsh. Yes. Yep. I'm going to make that call, too, That's because... I get to do things like that for my character. So, <laughs> yeah, I know Groomsh the best. But okay, what, so, what is Groomsh symbol? I want to put it on my armor so that they know I'm one of them. Uh, <laughs> I describe it. 
Okay, I put that on my you chest. You do that. Yeah. I, do yeah, that. I don't actually know what it is, so I'm gonna look at it, look it up. Yeah. Well, he it's has, probably. Yeah, kind of, only has one. It's eye, a giant so rat. Oh, okay. Cool. Giant rat. Dope. Hang on a sec. Let me see if I can find it. Uh... You guys can keep talking while I look for us. I think we're all looking at us. No, I'm, no, I'm just thinking about Sailor <laughs> Moon think it's, okay, it's, like, it's like a... So it's symbolized by the eye, I think? Yeah, it's, so... I think it's just an eye. I mean, what I'm seeing is like an upside-down triangle with like three... Bones? Prongs. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that well. bones. yeah, I'm seeing that too. And so it's like the closed that. eye. Yeah. Okay, yeah, pick that. Metal. Cool. You could also wear an eye patch if you wanted to be super extra oh, about hell it. hell yeah! Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's because cool. uh, his war priests wear a patch over their eye. I am going to... Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to wear an eye patch then, because once Petrus tells me that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the... Uh, I don't know, the war priests wear a patch over their eye because it's all about, like, the eyes and Done. the symbol and the... Uh, yeah, so I definitely have a patch over my eye. Great, you look and, great. like, plate armor with that symbol on the breast. Cool. Yeah, that that looks about as good as I remember it, but also that was, like, uh, like 20 years ago. Anyway, let's go. I'm sure you'll do fine. <laughs> we'll be great. We're doing great. Oh, I'm an orc! <laughs> I can't lie for shit, so hope this goes good. Uh, yeah, so Just let's... let me talk. Oh. I am an orc. Oh, God. These are my lands. Uh, my friends, a quick a quick inquiry. Perhaps this is a, a detail that has not occurred to you all, but it has certainly occurred to me, the smart one. Uh, do fair. prisoners normally drive their own carts? No. Ah, oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> Maybe there was what? a reason I asked that earlier. Petros. I, I have an intelligence of ten. Leave me alone. Petros, go drive his cart and throw him in the back. What the fuck is my fucking cart? You right, can. but you can't talk. I can. I guess we could go with a different order wait, of the wait. carts. That might be easier. I'm, I'm sorry. This <laughs> is important to me. Why can't Petros talk? Because it's because been he's like bad at it. Because it's been like 20 years since I've been and in the Orcs will notice that he sounds like a nerd. And I can't. I can't <laughs> fucking lie. My decision is low. Why um, don't I actually, sit on the other fellow orcs. <laughs> no. Here's what we do. Uh... Wait, no, I should be in the le in the front cart, though, because I can do the actual fucking talking. Yeah, you can actually speak Orcish. Excuse me! <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't speak Orcish, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. you... Um, so I can do the talking. Yeah, here, you... I can I'll, see, by the way. Yeah, no, you take this cart, I'll take Hugo's cart, because I can at least also speak Orcish. Uh, Hugo, get in the back. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hugo uses his massive ac massive acrobatics. Sorry, his his <laughs> uh, fine tuned acrobatic skills to leap over the back. We should also uh, like face excuse me, I'm still you speaking. Up. Thank you. Um, uh, to flip over the back of the the truck and tuck himself in the corner, and and as he shimmies into place, goes. <laughs> hey, Petros, do you have any manacles? Oh. I sure do, actually. Put them on him. <laughs> okay. Well, obviously, you are not going to. To, to tighten these all the way. Um, so I need to be... No, able, of course not. I need to be able to break out in case of combat. If you break my radicals, I'm going to kick your ass. You know, because <laughs> once, once we roll initiative, all belts are off. Okay, just... All right, fine. Yeah, no, I'll put them on you and I'll give you a little bit of room so you can slip out of them. <laughs> Thank you. I only have one of these. Okay. Set. Okay, right, so anyway, look, great. Great, we, cool. we do that. Ah, yes, this is going all according to plan. Ominous. All right. Petros. Well, let's. Petros, who is daddy, kept me. <laughs> Great. Let's keep driving, Petros, shall we? If they ask if you're a cop, say no. <laughs> yeah, because I legally have to tell. No, but I legally have to tell them if I'm a cop. <laughs> just, just no, you don't me. actually. Say if, no. no, no. If they ask me if I'm a cop, I have to tell them no, that I'm a cop. No, I don't. Don't. have to tell them I'm a cop. You don't. Co okay. Cops don't even think that, Petros. <laughs> Okay, you got it. I will lie and tell them I'm not a cop, whatever yeah. that Don't, is. Don't, like, lead with that, but if they ask... I'm not a cop. <laughs> Great, I got the plan. Just like Guys, I'm not that talking. bad at lying. Just mostly bad at lying. I'm really good at it. Let me do the talking. You okay. got it, champ. So, you in the front cart... Oh, well, what about Shivala? I only have one set what of manacles. <laughs> I have manacles, and I... I'm just lying. gonna hang out back here. Shavala, you can ride on the dragon. Just put your just put your arms behind your back. Yeah. 
I, I just hand Shavala a set of manacles just in case. It sucks there's just no shadows around here, otherwise I could become invisible. Tough. Can you Tough become things. invisible inside our covered wagon? That's a shadow. I could do that. Do yeah, do yeah, that. do that. They could, still, yeah. they could still hit me, but they won't know I'm there. Double Perfect. dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do that. That's fine. Um, Hugo uh, gets into character by... Uh, by um, he kind of flops over a little bit and he goes, Oh, water, water, please. I'm so thirsty. Shut up back there. Okay. <laughs> and he caves immediately. I'll roll deception on that to make it look like I'm thirsty. We're not deceiving anybody yet. Oh, too bad. He's deceiving Petros. Petros is like, All right, here's water. <laughs> no. Can we please go? Let's so, okay, go. Wait, so, what's the, what's the order? Let's so, uh, uh, his cart's in front with Miro on it. Yeah, my cart's in front with Miro driving. No, I thought it was... I thought you wanted to be on your cart. No. I gave up. I gave up. Yeah. Well, we could just... I mean, we literally just switch the order, and you can still be on your cart. It doesn't... It really doesn't matter yeah. at okay. this point. So, Miro is driving the main cart okay. with, it sounds like, uh, Shivala and you in yeah. that cart. Be, yep. I'm driving the cart behind with Hugo in my cart. Yeah. Perfect. And then there's a dragon flying And there's a there. dragon flying above us, but we're just gonna... if uh, Oh shit, a dragon! I don't know, <laughs> we'll deal with that when we get to it. We didn't know that was behind us. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. what is that? Uh, well, well, good thing I guess it hasn't switched we should probably anyway. say, like, keep going. Rajat is gonna be when yeah. you pretend not no. to know. Rajat, oh. I think you should fly a little higher. Um, try and get as, as far out of eye's view as you possibly can. Alright, I'll provide you cover if you need <clears throat> Okay, thanks. thanks. Love you. Fly safe. I love you too. Okay. Um, don't do school. Stay on drugs. Don't do school. Stay on drugs. <laughs> Wait. Shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's let's go. Let's let's do the damn thing. I like this yeah, plan. We are going. Yeah, you're a cop. You can't advocate for drugs or truancy. <laughs> He's homeschooled. So you guys keep going forward, and you maneuver your way through the graveyard of. The skeleton, the uh, elephant graveyard, or whatever. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, it looks like there was just a massacre here. Everything is torn to shred. Um, the canvas that still remains on these tents is spattered with blood. Um, there are uh, fragments of weapons on the ground, but they look like they've been. Like everything valuable on them, the metal has been like taken away. Um, the carts are just destroyed. Everything of value has just been ransacked from this. What was you can only assume used to be a tiefling settlement. Um, and as you keep going, you can hear uh, what sounds like voices arguing in the distance, very loud grumbling, low voices, um, shouting in Orcish. And they're yelling at each other. Um, they're just going back and forth calling each other stupid, it sounds like. <laughs> Once again, these are words that Hugo recognizes. <laughs> Despite yes. not speaking the language. They are curled at me with frequency. Hey, I remember that. That's my name in Orcish. Yeah. <laughs> for those of I you who don't how remember, I know my name. for those of you who don't remember, this was a bit I did last session. It's like, oh, I'm familiar with these words. <laughs> that is how they grit me. And uh, what is your order right now? If you could let me know. Uh, so it's us two on the front cart. Uh, Shiva me, Shalva, and Shavala in the front cart. Um, and everyone else in the everyone other else cart. in the back cart. So Petros and only, yeah, only two of us. Uh, the French guy. Just the guy. That's me. Petros and Hugo in the back cart. Petros and Stupid are in the back cart. Oh wait, no, <laughs> wait, that wasn't Orcish. You guys are so mean. <laughs> he invented that bit. I am just playing along. Yep. I know. That's that's oh, canon. Okay. So Shavala. Roll 20 is being a bitch, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Shalva and Shavala are in, like, the back of the car. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
right? Uh, yes. 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 And um, Hugo and Mural at the front. No. No. Hugo and... Um, so, so, Hugo is not driving the second cart. Or any cart. Or Hugo. any cart. Okay, yeah, Petros is driving Hugo's, Hugo's cart. So Petros is in the... Petros is driving Hugo's cart, and Pe uh, Hugo okay. is in the back of that cart, pretending to be a prisoner. God, I hope okay, this is and then useful. Mural, and then Mural is driving the cart with Shivala and Sha. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Just because making Hugo sure Hugo's in the back seat. So you guys, are you guys going to get closer to the source of the voices? I think we should skirt I, around I would, them Yeah, I would definitely uh, actively avoid them, in fact. Yeah. Well, that's okay. the end of the combat. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go home. Fuck the plot. Like, go wide and try not to be... Fuck the plot. Anyway, yeah. that was, uh, that was a great plot, guys... Nick, but uh, bye. I think I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> that's <laughs> it's okay. not the first time you guys have done to me. <laughs> You didn't Fucking plan for cowards. llama chaos this morning, this day? <laughs> I didn't, but I'm so glad it happened. <laughs> yeah, that was peak Laia. It's all down here from you. Down you, hill you guys got here. to meet my favorite Laia character, which is the yet unnamed badass <laughs> Big llama. Big llama, yeah. <laughs> the llama daddy. <laughs> Don't. Is his name Kuzco? <laughs> Do this to me. It llama might daddy. be. I'm pretty sure it's Kuzco. It is now. We're not allowed to reference that movie to Andrew's presence anymore. <laughs> we are, and we're gonna go forever. ape shit. No, I'm just um, never gonna watch it. It's fine. So you guys are moving around them? Yes. Yeah. I think to the best of our ability. There's probably not a lot we can hide behind or go around through, but I think we should try. There isn't. Yeah. And they are used to maneuvering this area. And as stupid as they are, lucky bastard. Uh, you guys managed to get around them. Uh, they don't seem to notice you. You guys took the long way around. Bitch. Could I? Could I see what they were arguing over? Were they arguing over something? Um. You. If you wanted to get closer to see what they were arguing about, you would be within their. Got it. I don't want to do they, that. They would. They would <laughs> not worth it. I was just curious if we could see them at any point. Um. I, I guess you not. could try to perceive them. If you guys are like getting far enough around them that they wouldn't be able to see you, then I would say no. You wouldn't okay. be able to yeah. see them. You yeah, would be able. So I'm gonna okay. cast scrying now. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to know what these people are doing. <laughs> Stupid. That's all they're doing. It's just stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. Oh, I fuck you. Nah, fuck you. Stupid. What if they have something cool and they're arguing about it? Those are my orc voices, by the way. This is part of my vocal reel. <laughs> yes, all orcs are Aussie, I guess. Cockneys. Oi. Oi. Oi, we fucked it then, I cats. Big time. <laughs> um, so you uh, managed to get around them and avoid your first whatever <laughs> our first combat um uh so you guys keep going and it starts getting darker and darker you guys travel the entirety of the day before you start getting closer to what you think must be the border because the desert is starting to thin out and there's uh starting to become sparse um um like copses of trees just of leafless trees um, but there is starting to be some greener, and it's getting pretty dark. So, are you guys gonna travel through the night, or are you going to try to find a place to set up? Let's hut it up. Yeah. What? You didn't understand that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to camp, I believe. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, here, I speak this language. <laughs> <laughs> hut it up means to put up camp. Wonderful. Or to use the hut. <laughs> Excellent. Don't, don't spoil it. <laughs> Great. Yeah, no, I, 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 I think... we put up... We, we, we set up camp. Yeah. yeah, I think 
that's a, probably a better idea than trying to travel through the night. Okay. Um. Bye. So you guys have some rations, and um, are you guys going to like build a fire or? We. Mm -hmm. I am going to uh, ritual cast Leoman's tiny hut. My newest Ooh. third level spell. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Hut it up. Uh, which creates a 10 foot radius immobile dome of force that springs into existence around and above you and remains stationary for the duration. It'll last for eight hours. Nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside the dome with you. Um, do, 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 all, other all, other, uh, all other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it except those that I designate. Spells and other magic effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inside the space is comfortable and dry, regardless of the weather outside. So I do that. I cry. I, I, I ritual yeah. cast this dome. Party. <laughs> what? I don't think I don't think uh, Shalva needs any more party. <laughs> okay, I said hell yeah, comma party. Uh, I create this hut, and I'm the only one allowed in it. So good okay, luck, well, everyone fuck else. You. Wow. No. <laughs> all right. No, you're all allowed in, I guess. <laughs> everyone except Thanks. Hugo. <laughs> no, I no, don't. Let, you let him be in the hut. Let him be. In let him be in the hut. We feel bad. Hashtag let Hugo hunt. Huh? <laughs> let Hugo hut. Um. Uh, the, the dome is opaque from the outside of any color I choose. I'm gonna go with black. Oh, Sick. But it is transparent from the inside. Ah, on we chateau. Hell yeah. All right, cool. Um, I would want to set up watches anyway. Like, I know nothing can get in, but like, I don't know. It makes me uncomfortable. Just be like, oh, let's all just fucking pass out, I guess. Well, the dragon is not in the hut. Why not? Why not? It's a medium size or small. Are you gonna allow your? Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, so I the mean, tiny I... hut. The tiny hut. It's a can medium fit all size. Of you and a dragon. <laughs> yeah. It can fit nine creatures of medium size or smaller. Okay, so yeah, the dragon curls up like kind of like along the outside, mm. or like like in the it's in the inside of the hut, but is like curled up with its back to the wall, mm -hmm. so that it's trying to take up as little space as possible. I'm curled up next to the dragon with blinks. Oh, that's cute. Man. Yeah, no, we are all sleeping under the dragon's wings. <laughs> We're a family. <laughs> and just like the most families, you don't have to like everyone in it. <laughs> yeah, that's, An that's very dinner. wise. Uh, the interior is currently dimly lit, but when we all go to sleep, I raise my hands and go, and it goes dark. Nice. Nice, you have clap on clap off lighting. Yeah. That, that is luxury right there. <laughs> uh, uh, so, you guys. It, so, it, who is it, taking first watch? Why don't. So, you go volunteers. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> well, because it, is it like dark? Is it nighttime yet? Yes. Because I can't. I don't have dark. Oh, wait, it is? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought it was evening. I thought we were winding down. I was going to say, because I don't have dark vision, so I'll do it while there's still a little bit of light out, but JK, there's no light, so fuck me, goodbye. <laughs> uh, I'll take one of the watches, just because I only need four hours. Time to snooze. Um, okay. I'll take the first one, and you can take one like in the middle of the night, because it doesn't split up your sleeping schedule. What? You're taking a watch, right? Yeah. I'll well, take I the first one. Yeah, well, you do four hours, I do four hours. Oh, I'm think I was thinking in threes, but that Oh, works. I guess we could do threes, but... Uh, this, I don't know why I was thinking in three. This one only needs like four hours of rest for a long rest. So like, there you go. Yeah. We all good? Okay, yeah, I think so, so. Um, Petros, you're taking first walk. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll perception. <sighs> don't fuck me! 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 Mm. Yeah, eighteen. <sighs> okay. Um, can you also roll me a wisdom saving? Oh. Yes, I can. That's one of the things I'm actually pretty good at. Uh, and that is a 15. Okay. Um, so you take the first walk, and from where you are inside the hut, everything else around you is just desert um, trees. Um, at least it is for a little while. 
um, because eventually it looks like you're not in the desert anymore. Um, instead, you're surrounded by trees. Um, it's still very dark. Darker almost than you think that dark vision would allow. And you feel like you've been in this forest before. Um, but, and yet it's still unfamiliar. And standing um, in the copse of trees um, to the side, partially facing you, is a figure that you recognize. I am, like, um, grabbing at the amulet. The amulet, uh... But I'm not um, As away. you grab it, the image that you're seeing changes from being clear to being as if you were seeing it through, um, like, a fuzzy television screen. Hmm. Um, Ooh, horrifying. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little bit extra here. You know when people use like the horror movie filter for animation, mm -hmm. with like the black static on the sides. Mm -hmm. Fun. Like that on the edge of your vision. Okay, awful. <laughs> I don't know which one I Thanks, hate, I hate more, it. but <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Okay. Um, and the person that you see is very familiar. Someone important to you, someone you know, someone that you care deeply about and who cares deeply for you. Um, an orc female about your height and you recognize your mother. It doesn't really make sense for her to be here, but really nothing that you're seeing makes sense. And she seems to be looking at you or looking at something past but doesn't seem to be seeing you and behind her is a tall cloaked figure whose features you're just beginning to make out features you also recognize under that cloak is the bleached skull of an elk with long antlers curved up around its head and eyes the eyes of the skull are just black like this endless void is just staring back at you mm -hmm. and you recognize the creature from your nightmare standing over your mother's shoulder and it slowly raises its hand and puts long bony clawed fingers on your mother's shoulder and as it touches her, the image vanishes, and you're back in the dust. Fuck. Okay. And that's your watch. Fuck. Fun. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Fuck this road trip, for real. <laughs> God, we haven't stopped at a single Arby's. Mommy, I want to go home. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, today's episode of the show is brought to you by Arby's Lip Moss. <laughs> Thanks, I hate that. Also. God, I just wanted to go to McDonald's. <laughs> no, Precious is the one who, like, pulls into the McDonald's drive through and is, like, no, one small have... black coffee and then drives off. Oh, that's a big cop thing, though. I know. We have burgers at home. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, we have rations that's in our bad. pack. <gasps> God. <laughs> Hope you kids like heart tack. <laughs> Hard tack and jerky. Um, anything else that. you'd like to do while you're on watch? You um, could spend the next three hours weeping softly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's like basically spending this whole time trying very hard not to think about like his fucking walk, like waking visions or like his mom or any. He's like, nope, I'm not thinking about this. <laughs> I'm fine. Man. I'm having a Better great just night. Keep it all inside. Yep. So slightly. I'm weeping. gonna keep. No, I'm gonna keep all emotions right here, and then one, one day, day I'll, I'll die. die. I'll die. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. No, he's like maintaining his gear. He's keeping an eye out, but he's like, mm -mm, nope. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. <laughs> not important. Don't want to talk about it. Then you switch. Uh, yeah. No, you switch. Uh, like guard shifts, and he's like. Weird shit out there tonight. 
What? What did you see? Uh, remember when we were in the forest and we oh, saw yeah. shit? I saw shit again. I'm going to bed. Good night. Oh, I hope I get to see shit again. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, really... you remember that Shalva had a great time last time you were in the saw shit. Great, cool. Shalva great. didn't want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you get to have the cool visions. Uh, Maddie, I really appreciate how uninvocative your description was. Yeah, I saw some shit again. That sucked. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even. No elaboration necessary. No. No descriptors. Nope. Yeah, man, that thing happened again. Fuck that noise. Goodbye. <laughs> yup. Oh, if only we could put swear words in our episode titles uh, via iTunes standards, because uh, fuck that noise would be I the title of this I saw some shit. Episode. Good night. <laughs> I saw some just Legends of Loya session whatever. Fuck that noise. <laughs> Sobbing softly. Sobbing softly in the night. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll wake up and uh, take my watch. Or not right, wake will up. You roll perception? I will exit my trance. We'll Remember transes. last time I took watch and I fell asleep and Hugo got kidnapped? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We have a hut this time. Uh, that's going to be a 12. <laughs> okay. Um, you keep watch and now that you're a little bit more wary with mm. what uh, Petros told you, you're a little more conscious of how you're feeling, of what you're seeing. You're not really, you don't really see anything, but you do feel something. It's um, a presence you're very familiar with. Um, a lurking hmm. presence, if you will. Just this... <laughs> um, a very familiar, welcoming darkness um, that just seems to hover next to you and wait for you. If anyone were to wake up, you just see Shalva just sitting there with like a smile on her face, just staring out, oh. staring out into the into the forest. Oh no, you're becoming the Joker. <laughs> um, and that is all that happens on your walk. Wonderful. The rest, of you wake up the next morning. Everything is as it was. Nothing has changed. No one wandered Nothing. upon you. <laughs> Nikki? Um, what? No, nothing. Just Andrew said no one's missing, and then you were quiet for a bit. That's all. <laughs> he no goes gone missing. again. I mean, perception, I guess. <laughs> Can I count how many people there are? We've actually added I got an unnatural person. 20 on perception. <laughs> The oracle's there. Um, everyone's there. Ugh. Everybody's gone. Oh my god. All right. Well. Nobody got kidnapped this time because because Shalva didn't fall asleep. Yeah, and I have a Therefore, hut. I did not kidnap Hugo again. <laughs> All right. Everybody ready to go? Um, yeah. Let's go. Man, I don't know what you were talking about last night. In my watch, yeah. nothing happened. I know. It was good. Great. Great. Man, fuck you. Yeah, cool. Some of us are gonna have, like, cool visions and, like, gonna have, like, a good watch and gonna have a good night's sleep and some of us have, like, fucked up dreams or whatever and, like, that's fine. Everyone just get in the fucking cars. <laughs> uh, if you don't mind me asking, what did you see? I don't want to talk about it. I mean, we're traveling with you. Yep. Could Yo, he... sometimes people don't want to talk about things. <laughs> I mean, I feel like they should talk about those things. Like, Meryl is, like, hulking over here. <laughs> you're still an orc. Thank you. I know you're not an orc! <laughs> like... Yeah, I... Well, you're definitely... Don't working. say that super loud, but also, <laughs> maybe sometimes... <laughs> don't yell that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you're trying to, like, act all big and strong. I know who you are. No, I wasn't saying like hulking like intimidating just like he leans down to talk to you because he is much taller than you hey how are you still doing that with stilts of course obviously 
Uh, this guy's self only lasts an hour. What are you using? <laughs> Maybe he's just real fucking good Maybe at I'm it. I'm just real good at disguising myself. Like, through what conventional spell are you means. Using? Uh, who says I'm using a spell? Oh, can I reach out? I'm gonna just, like, reach out and start touching you and feeling I you. I swat your hand <laughs> away immediately. Roll initiative. <laughs> uh... Okay, whatever. And then I'm gonna walk away. Goddamn right. And then I'm gonna cast Detect Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember when you used this the first episode. Uh, is there a save on that? Nope. Uh, so how Detect Thoughts works is... <laughs> yeah, I'm blowing a spell slot on this. Alright. Uh, you can read the, the, the thoughts, the surface thoughts. Um, it's actually a concentration spell. But I can initially just learn the surface thoughts of the creature and what is on its mo most on its mind at that moment. If I want to probe deeper, I can do it, and there's a save. All right. Uh, my surface thoughts are this absolute mother. Well, in orcish, this absolute <laughs> motherfucker. Like, <laughs> so I I don't think you understand it if it's orcish, right? I don't know. It doesn't actually specify if I need to know a language. Oh. If I need to know the language. Well, the gist you get is this absolute motherfucker. <laughs> do I probe? <laughs> Did you just mutter, do I probe? Do I probe? <laughs> do I probe? Mural, do you want to get probe? <laughs> <laughs> Two different questions. Normally, yes. In this instance, <laughs> no. Um... I want to go over to Petros and kind of like nudge you to the side. Well, don't. What are you doing? <laughs> come talk to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> you you had you could just be like, come fine. Okay, what what's going on? Hey, uh, um, I'm suspicious about Mural. Okay. And I'm uh, I'm just curious your thoughts. I think Mural has things to hide. Like we all do. We talked about it. I think that if it becomes important, it'll come up. But right now, I believe that if it's something that will affect the rest of us, we'll talk about it. Shouldn't we all know about that? What? If it's something that can affect the rest of us? I don't think it's that big a deal. I mean, I could tell you, I would feel kind of uncomfortable telling you, but, like, I could. It's not... It is a... It is... This land... These lands are dangerous. Like, that's yeah. it. Period. That's basically what it sums up to. And Miro has first-hand experience with that. And that's it? You believe that's it? Because I don't. Well, what are you... What are you gonna do? I can do things. And, and, and at what cost? I don't know. We have we have to work together. You're right. We and have I to... can't work with people that aren't telling me everything. Then go. Like I just, <laughs> what is this? What is the end game here? The what end are game you... is that we live, that we survive, and we're going to but... maybe unless whatever this is fucks us over. Then we deal with that when we come to it. Do you trust us? I don't know. Then you need to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I am trusting you all with my life. That doesn't mean I trust you with the life I have had before. And that's fine. We don't have to do that. Maybe it'll come up someday, maybe it won't. But right now we have to trust each other that if... if there is something relevant, then we will handle it. And maybe some shit comes up that should have come up before. But I think trying to force each other to talk about it is just gonna make things worse. And it's going to cause tension and friction. And then we're just gonna start yelling at each other. And I'm going to have to pick you up like errant dogs and start throwing you guys around to get you to break it up. You don't seem to recall that I overpowered you in a prison cell once before. Okay, yes, I remember that. That's fine. Brief pause. Yes. That will not help the situation! <laughs> you may continue. Thank you. <laughs> Hugo, hi. <laughs> oh, that was not Hugo, that was me, Benjamin C. <laughs> no, I know. Oh, hey, Ben. That's, hi. It was... 
Hi everyone. Uh, hi, Ben Hamlin, producer. Um, <laughs> this is just like an open door in the middle of the desert. Hi. Uh, just play nice. Thank you. That's all. <laughs> that I don't. I didn't mean literally. I didn't mean I was literally going to start picking you up and throwing you around. That's not very nice. I guess I'm not very nice. That doesn't. Whatever. Does that does that work for you? Is this going to work for you for right now? I mean. I'd rather know what might get us killed than deal with it when it happens. There is a at least one orc that is like the mad orc. And I think Miral has had run-ins with this orc in the past. Now, based on my recollection, there have been many people with this name and there may be more than one at a time. Miral said it's not a personal beef. A personal issue. Vendetta? Oh, uh, yeah. It's just kind of a general ran into this guy situation. Okay, see, now that we're, we're sharing, we're telling people, uh, we could use the scrying on this person and see maybe we can find out where this person is so that we can avoid them or something along those lines. I thought we were uh, just going to scry kind of just to generally avoid the orcs, but yeah, sure. We well, can... we, we have to scry a, a specific person. I don't know how scrying works. I'm telling you, we have to scry Great. A, we, cool. we so... a specific person. All right. Or well, a specific location. Okay, let's do that then. Um, okay. Should we talk to the rest of the group? Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, Hugo emerges from the hut. Like, <laughs> oh, just Jesus kinda, fucking Christ. Kind of like scratching in his armpit like, Oh! No, Malora bless. All right. Oh, the morning. Yeah, this, uh-huh. this is the morning. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, so, and we regroup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and scene. <laughs> and we're going. So I think the plan is right, that we scry and we try and find a way around the orcs to get to where we're going. Yeah? Does that sound good to everybody? Sounds good to me. Does this sound scary? Yeah, how are we, we going to scry him? Uh, well, I mean, we just need to know, like, uh, one of them that we can specifically scry on, or a location, something like that. Does anyone know that? I mean... Uh, Nikki, do I know in general kind of where we are in relation to where I hung out? No. No. Um, You came out of the border in a different area than you are now coming in. Gotcha. Uh, Real quick, sorry. Hey, Tara, is that an original? There's some uh, interesting art in the uh, fan discord right now. (laughs) Uh, You may all look at that at your leisure. God, I hope so. Yeah, there is. Uh, You can all look at that at your leisure later. Anywho. Um, I mean, so I, I was like staring directly at you. I mean, I only my, my time in Bonn was pretty limited to like one village, well, one uh, tribe, and uh, like my move to the border. Um, and this isn't anywhere that I'm familiar with, so I don't think we're gonna come across the like specific group of orcs that I am familiar with. But if you did tell me where Burzum the Mad is, I'd be super stoked uh, to know that that's far away and as far away as possible. That'd be dope. Burzum the Mad, you said? Yeah. So should we scry on this Burzum the Mad? It seems as good a place to start as any. If, I don't know. I don't have. Yes. If perhaps I am unfamiliar, how, how do we how do we scry? Do we just say the name into the desert and the desert is like, oh, here he is? <laughs> I, I do not know. We speak unto the desert, and the desert speaks back. Uh, I do not know how how your magic works. No, I, I'm, uh, quite, I'm always quite impressed when I see it in action. But whoops, I'm kind of stupid. No, I right, hold up. Why do I say that? You're smart as hell. It's no, a... you just don't have magic smarts. Yeah, I just don't have magic smarts. I got a history and archaeology smarts. You basically. Uh, I know how to be sexy. We have a scroll for it, and I can uh, read the incantation and cast the spell from the scroll allowing me to potentially see what this person is doing, where they are at, and spy upon them. Can we only do it once? Yep. It's a scroll that's going to be used up after the one. Well, I mean... So There's also the then chance... you're not going to be able to scry Helm Blood? 
Oh, yeah, I if you about use that. it oh. on the Mad Orc. I forgot about that motherfucker. Um, well, maybe we should... I think that... Yeah, shouldn't we just scroll the guy that we already agreed right. on scrying? Yes, the one yeah, that I we... About that. Yes, no, I just have a bad memory. Same. That was in my Petros voice, so that means it's canon now. <laughs> Petros um, has a bad memory. It, Petros has a bad memory. Uh, so, that we learned about that less than 24 in game hours ago. So, yeah, let's scry for... <laughs> We'd already forgotten. ...that orc, and then... That seems like that's our main concern. Go around them, and then we're heading like to the coast yeah yeah there so. was a i have that in my notes uh leader is helm blood tooth near the coast there was a port city right so we I need to head that name way of it. <laughs> minnesota great minnesota okay N- minnesota no <laughs> minnesota great okay yeah Porca soda. or i guess we could scry the city and see if we could get more information about well if the temple is there or not. I think we'd be better off uh, getting to the city first. Okay, yeah. So let's scry Mr. Bloodtooth. Mr. Bloodtooth. Sir Bloodtooth. <laughs> Mr. Please! Mr. 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 Bloodtooth was my father. Dr. Bloodtooth. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. What was your... Did you have a oh, joke? Oh, nothing. I just tagged you in a meme. <clears throat> meme? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, Ooh, just me? made, I just made a live meme of that last conversation. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> I am not nice. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to... <laughs> using the scroll, I'm going to uh, cast Scrying. Um, okay. Do we have a likeness or picture, a possession or garment, a body part, lock of hair, bit of nail, or the like? Anyone? No oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> No. <laughs> Here's his arm. <laughs> I didn't realize we needed stuff like that. Uh, do we have secondhand knowledge or firsthand hand knowledge? We have something? secondhand knowledge. From right, the that's Oracle. good. That's good. We don't have firsthand knowledge. I don't think so. I think oh, I specifically was like, "Do I know this guy?" And God was like, "No." <laughs> Not Melora. God. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, so we can. You cast haven't this. heard of him. It's probable that he he came to power after you. Right. So we have secondhand knowledge of this person. Right. So yes. you have secondhand knowledge from the oracle who has firsthand knowledge of the being. Right. So we could do this, but there's a pretty decent chance that it's not going to work. Uh, and then we just wasted the scroll. Yeah, maybe we want to hold on to it then and just kind of hope for the best. Or, just or until we those, get more information. One of those situations where you save all your full healing potions and then you get to the end of the game and you just have a bunch of extra full, full healing potions you never use. Mm. I could draw a picture of birds then. Well, we're going to do blood looks... tooth. Yeah, well, I'm just saying if blood tooth wouldn't be useful to us and we don't want to end up with 80 bajillion potions at the end of this... We could, I could eventually draw you a picture of the thing. What if you are not good at drawing, and your drawing looks like a different orc, and then we scry that orc on accident? Yeah. I don't think that's how magic works. Then okay. I'm pretty sure that's how magic works. <laughs> I just became a cleric. Dude. That's not like... how magic works. Uh, anyways. I get... <laughs> what? I, comma, get... <laughs> So yeah. Anyways, um, let's just keep moving, and Miriel yeah, starts if getting we the think, wagon ready. I was gonna say, if we think of a a better reason to use it, we can use it then. But let's just hang on to it for right now. I'm sure we will use it at some point. Okay. All right. right so you all gather um, yourselves and your things, and you continue on, and that's where we're gonna leave it for. The- Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, good. Nikki. All right, then, folks, thank you know you what? Thank you so much, Tara, for the llama art. <laughs> thank you. I Everybody love say it thank so you, Tara. Much. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, I love it. Folks, this has been the Legends of Laia, an Infinity Break production produced by Nikki Boylan and Ben Hamlin and Andrew Akel, with stories by the same said Nikki Boylan, noted monster enthusiast, featuring Johnny Ronaldo, Andrew Akel, Ben Hamlin, Maddie Trumbo Gomes. Our logo is by the incredible Andy Wilson, and the theme song is by Johnny Ronaldo, who also edits this very podcast. 
As I've already said, this show is a product of InfinityBreak.net, where we're telling stories our own way. Podcasts, web comics, live streams, videos, and more are all available at InfinityBreak.net. If you like what you're if you like what you're hearing, please take time to follow this channel and be here next week for Speak of the Devil. Our other Sunday tabletop streaming show about a devil's misadventure hosted by our very own Johnny Ronaldo. And if you like that primo Johnny Ronaldo content, be here tomorrow at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. for City of Thorns. Uh, which is our Shadowrun series uh, that uh, streams on this very same channel. Uh, you can follow us on social media at InfinityBreak23 on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for updates on all your favorite shows and extra behind-the-scenes information about what we're doing here at IB. We have a Facebook group where we can discuss all sorts of nerdery topics together, so if you're into tabletop comics, uh, Castlevania, Daredevil, etc., that's the place to be. You can join the Infinity Loop today, and you can join our new fan Discord. Well, newer, I suppose. Uh, that's bit.ly forward slash infinity talks and that gets you access to our fan discord where we're more tabletop castlevania daredevil etc uh let's see uh for the people with online presences where can people find you all on twitter.com at johnny ronaldo at ander epidemic at ben c hamlin that's b-e-n-c-h-a-m-l-i-n at boy vandals and at byros Finally, if you like what we're doing here, we have a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash infinity break where you can start a monthly donation with us for as little as $1. You get access to all sorts of behind the scenes content, including extra analysis from a Forces and Men and Sneeple at the Movies, of which there has been some uh, choice, juicy, succulent MP3s that have been sent to my personal email, which means I need to upload those later today. Uh, so you get some bonus Sneeple content today if you start a donation today. Um... You can also get in on the City of Thorns uh, chat, which is very spicy right now. Yes. Uh, if, if you are a donor and you want to get into the City of Thorns chat, it is a very uh, easy process. All you have to do is have already joined our Discord, and then uh, go ahead and reach out to us on Patreon, and we will get you set up. Or Patreon or Discord, for that matter. Um, uh, let's see. I think that's absolutely everything, except that... Oh, uh, uh, speaking of Patreon, we have a, a goal that we are trying to get to, that we are... We, uh, we had some losses, I'm afraid, but we're kind of gaining, get, getting back up there. We're gaining some momentum again. At the $150 level, we're going to be doing monthly one-shots. Uh, if you liked our Casket Land stream uh, about a month ago, that's the kind of stuff we're aiming for. Just short, uh, cohesive, one-shot stories that we want to tell you using various systems that we like playing. Uh, so we're going to start doing that at the $150 level. Uh, once again, that is patreon.com forward slash infinity break. None of these shows could happen without your financial support, and we greatly appreciate that. Uh, if you cannot support us financially, we once again recommend that you leave a review for this show, Speak of the Devil, and City of Thorns on our Apple Podcasts, or whatever listening platform you choose to listen to your podcasts on. Uh, lastly, of course, there is merchandise that can be found at the shop link on our website. Uh, and uh, let's just... Uh, 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 you know what real quick let's give a shout out to uh, our friends at the uh, Laymon show uh, they've been putting out a number of remarkable episodes including I don't know if you kids like the Teen Titans uh, but they just did an extensive episode on our, our favorite sidekicks and <laughs> Beast Boy I never read the, the 70s and 90s Teen Titans I have no clue uh, I think that's every uh, once again I think that's absolutely everything this has been the Legends of Leia thank you very much for listening and we will see you next week for Speak of the Devil. Bye. Bye. Bye.